Hi, I'm Al Mancini at one of the most beautiful restaurants in the world, a restaurant that made the top 10 list in Eating Las Vegas, the 50 essential restaurants. And this is Joel Robichon at the MGM Grand. I am here with the head chef, Mr. Cloud Letoic. Um, Cloud Letoic, excuse me. I, I apologize. But um, thank you so much for having us in here, and we get to chat with you a bit about about Robichon and about the food in Las Vegas. We're really excited about it. Um, first of all, and I should thank you for, along with Mr. Robichon, hosting our release party in November for the book. That was a lot of fun. Yes, it was a good, a good party, yes, I saw. It was incredible. And some of the greatest chefs in the world turned mm -hmm. out. So we yeah. had a really, really good time. So I want to talk to you a bit about this restaurant. This is the only Michelin three-star restaurant in Las Vegas. And I hate to talk about other awards, since I think the Eating Las Vegas Award, of course, is the most important that you have. But that's got to be great to know that you are the only restaurant in this entire town that got three Michelin stars. Yeah, it's true. We are very proud to uh, to get this this, this this distinction. Sorry, two years ago, three years ago, uh, it was uh, you know a success for all the team for Mr. Robichon because it was his goal. You know, when he be, when he decided to be to to uh, to come in Las Vegas. You know, so after only uh, three three years, we we got the three star Michelin. So we, everybody was very. You know, exciting and very proud of uh, this uh, distinction. Yeah, it's, it's what do you think it is about this restaurant? I mean, there's a lot of competition in this town. There are some amazing restaurants in this town. What do you think it is about Robichon that brings it to that level that nobody else has been able to reach? I don't, I don't think we have competition here in Las Vegas. But the sun is shining for everybody, you know? <laughs> That's, we have so many, so many guests, so many kind of guests, so many... We have, I think we have uh, space for, uh, for everybody. We all are different. Uh, but this is make you know even this city uh, rich you know with uh, many kind of restaurants, many kind of food. That's also uh, uh, why people co uh, come in Las Vegas, you know, to eat, to see the, the, all the new concept, all the different concept that uh, Las Vegas uh, had. Yeah, and it, that is true. There does seem to be a lot of camaraderie, and you yeah. know, I see folks like yourself, and then I'll see Franck Savoie, and mm -hmm. you know, Mr. Robichon comes to town, and you know, every, all the chefs seem to know each other and be friendly with each other and support oh, yeah. each other's restaurants. Mm, that's yeah, yeah, and you know, we that's very important, you know, to be you know uh, uh, very close, to be uh, friendly, because uh, it's not easier what we're doing here every night, every night. So we have to be you know very friendly to to make easier our, our job, yes. And of course, while we're on the topic of all the chefs coming to town, Mr. Robichon comes to town a few times a year. One of those is for Vegas Uncorked, mm -hmm. which is coming up in May. Yeah. And that's another time when everyone from around the country that has restaurants here in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. really, you know, even if they're not here all the time, they come in for that. Do you enjoy Vegas Uncorked? Is that fun for you guys, or is it just a lot of work and a lot of pressure? It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun, because it's uh, one one uh, date on, on the year that we can uh, all uh, meet, uh, the, uh, Meet the, all the chef to get have, have the chef uh, to get all together on uh, on one day or two days on one week for for some of them, so that's that's great, you know. And and uh, you know, seeing them here is the third uh, fourth uh, time that I'm going to do uh, the encore, and it's getting bigger, bigger, and bigger. And and uh, that's that's great, you know. That's great for Las Vegas. We need we need that. Yeah, I mean it's it's so much fun too. I mean it's great the grand tasting when everyone is just out there at the pool together. Yeah. It's just a, a lot of fun. And of course you're doing an event here with Mr. Robichon, a lunch, a very kind of private event. How many people are going to that? Uh, it's going to be like l'atelier, so not not a lot. This is going to be very exclusive. Like uh, I would say maybe 75, 80, 80 guests there. Yeah. And that sold out, I think, within a matter of hours. So sorry to the people at home. You're going to have to um, find a friend who has tickets and get them to bring you as a date. But that, within hours of going on sale, that, that sold out. That's just how that's excited. That's a good sign. That's a good sign, you know, for Las Vegas and for uh, Hong Kong uh, event. Well, that's what Mr. Robichon's presence can do and your presence can do. I'm doing an event at Vegas Uncorked with my co-authors, and that has not sold out. There are mm -hmm. plenty, plenty of tickets available for that. So that shows, you know, you guys have the pull. Not so much for, I don't know, I think we may, I'm hoping that we don't embarrass ourselves trying to put ourselves in an event with you guys, you know, on, on the level of you folks. Um, but I want to talk a bit about some of the special touches you have here at Robichon, because this is the kind of place where there's so much attention to detail. I mean, the bread cart, for example, I mean, you have one of the most amazing bakeries in the world. Tell people what it means when you get bread here at, at Joel Robichon. I don't know, uh, when you get bread, this, you start with your experience with a, a, a bread cart uh, with uh, 14 kinds of bread 
make every day uh, cooking just before the service that's that's a lot of a lot of work and very uh, you know it's very uh, 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 rare to, to see this in a in a restaurant you know even when I go to Paris uh, right uh, to eat some uh, some restaurant I don't see often uh, a bread of cart like, like this so I'm happy to get back to Las Vegas to eat this bread here you know yeah 14 types of bread all of them made just downstairs every here every day mm -hmm. fresh people toiling down there you know from the wee hours of the morning into the you know the evening hours it's it's incredible the bread itself is worth yeah. the trip and then when you get your um when you pick the bread that you want then someone takes it away and warms it for you sometimes so. yeah we ask the guests if they want the bread uh, warm or not warm so some guests don't want, some, they, some guests want, so it's a service that uh, we offer to the guests. Yeah. Those are the kind of small touches that are amazing. Your amuse-bouche here, the caviar amuse-bouche, talk to people a bit about that. Yeah, that's it's a signature dish of Mr. Robuchon. Uh, it's a tin uh, of caviar uh, uh, with a layup of uh, funnel cream, crab, and a caviar on the top that all the guests get uh, when they sit down. You know, it's a signature dish uh, that is very great amuse-bouche, you know, and people uh, when people come back, they always ask for, for, for to get uh, Vista Miss Bush again, again, again. So, yeah, it's a pretty amazing dish. Uh, pretty nice and very good. And that's nice as a signature dish, but, you know, for people out there that think it's all caviar and things like that, mm. I think one of the most incredible things about Mr. Robichon's cooking is that another one of his signature dishes is mashed potatoes. Oh, yes. We, we cannot... Uh, uh, people cannot uh, leave the table without mashed potatoes. All the guests get a spoon of mashed potatoes because, you know, that's something that people want to try. Uh, we, we, it's, not, it's not possible to take off this mashed potato. We will uh, no. I think not. you shouldn't call them mashed potatoes. I think you should call them mashed butter with a little bit of potato in them. How much butter goes into this? Like Mr. Abichon <laughs> says, it's better to eat a spoon of mashed potatoes than a, a, a bowl of french fries. Believe me. That's true, yes, yeah. and a spoonful of these you mashed don't, potatoes. You don't, you don't need a, a, a big bowl of mashed potatoes, you know, it's, it's, very, uh, uh, it's very delicate, so you, you eat two, three spoons, or four spoons, but that's it, you know, so it's, it's, not, it's not bad, it's not bad. Okay. Um, another special touch here, I think is still in effect, that no matter what dinner you come for, do they still offer limousine service to yes. the restaurant? Yes, so it's a service, it's very uh, great service, it's that people uh, who want to eat and don't want to drive after, uh, want feel, want, we want to enjoy the meal and be able to drink some wine, some champagne. So we offer the, the limo services. So whenever you uh, uh, you are, you know, we, we, whenever you are, uh, we we send you a limo to pick up you and uh, drive you uh, at the restaurant uh, for free. So that's a, that's a great service. So. That. And, and I'm leading up to these because all of these things, well, not the mashed potatoes, of course, they're included in every meal, but, you know, the, the bread cart, the amuse-bouche, the limousine service, all of these are included in your dinner in the price of admission, no matter whether you get a two-course meal mm -hmm. or whether you get a, what's the largest meal here? Sixteen courses. Sixteen courses. So you could do two courses for about how much? Uh, one, one fifty. One, one fifteen? We start at one, uh, one uh, oh nine for one course. After we got uh, 150, 180, two, uh, 290, and the 385 for the 16 course. Okay, so as little as 109, it's the one course. But again, you're getting, you can get the limousine yes. service, you can get the, you get the amuse bouche included, you yeah. get the bread cart. You know, it's uh, you get a lot of those desserts. You know, the, mm -hmm. the nice little desserts that come out. And of course, mm -hmm. you have one of the greatest pastry chefs in the world here, Kamal. Is just absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yeah, it, there are, you know, it may not be inexpensive dining, but there are some ways to come in here on a budget and still get treated like a king. Exactly, exactly. And then, like I said, you know, uh, uh, before, it, it's, like, uh, it's like a show, you know. You, you come here, you, you, don't, you, you enjoy yourself, you enjoy your night, you can spend three, four hours, one hour, whatever you want. It's like uh, uh, we're doing a la carte, you know. Uh, what do you like best about being here in Las Vegas? Uh, the energy that have the city, there's a lot of uh, a lot of energy. There's always something happening in Las Vegas. That's uh, that's great for uh, for us. You know, it's never finished. It's, uh, you know, we we finish with uh, uh, New Year's. We we went to a lot of good big convention, and right now we're gonna start with uh, Chinese New Year. There's always have something in Las Vegas. Something happening in Las Vegas. That's that's good. Great. A lot of energy. And you've got a copy of the book here. People are coming to Vegas and they want that energy. Eating Las Vegas, the 50 essential restaurants. There we go. You guys, again, were included within the top 10 restaurants that we chose. The Talier also in the top 10. So two restaurants right next door to each other that both, both made the top 10. Um, what do you think about the book? 
But you know, I think it is the best geese that you can find in Las Vegas. I'm going to tell you why. Because you know, this this guy uh, has been made by three of uh, you and uh, Max Jacobson and uh, John Curtis, and you are the best people who. Uh, we know the restaurant in Las Vegas, here in Las Vegas, because you live here. You you run the restaurant every day, every day, every day. So I think you know it's um, it's a great value, you know, uh, to have uh, you here in Las Vegas and support all the restaurants like you like you you do. And then uh, the quality of the guide is it's it's amazing. And um, uh, it's the best. Thank you very much. And you guys have been extremely supportive with us. Um, you are selling the book here in the restaurant. So if mm -hmm. people don't have one when they come to Robichon, they can stop and pick one up. It's twelve ninety nine. Mm -hmm. If I can plug it there, <laughs> drop by and make, tell them you want a copy of the book. Yeah. But, Cloud, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to chat with everybody. Thank you. No, thank you for your time, and uh, you're always welcome. Well, great. Have a great Merci. day. Thank you.